I just found one of the best new bridging techniques in Minecraft. Okay, maybe not best, but one of the coolest bridging techniques I've ever seen. I'll call it berry bridging. Yeah, I'll just call it backwards bridging or whatever. Um, I'm sure you've seen other people doing this, but you can basically jump backwards in bridge. All you've got to do is hold left click and press S and you're away. It's just like jump bridging, just a backwards variant. Here are the pros and cons of this bridging. First of all, the bridging can be started pros, sorry. The bridging can be started by using only one block. Here. So now you don't have to use multiple blocks just to get your bridge started. Number two, reliability. Now, I know jump bridging can be pretty unreliable at times, especially with Minecraft, like lag or something. I mean, look at that. Super unreliable. Well, this backwards jump bridging you won't really it won't really be too unreliable it'll be very very reliable here let me give myself more blocks there now that i have over 3600 stone Watch this. See that? And it's super reliable. Now, reliability in the air. I feel like a lot of people die when while bridging in the air because they're scared. But with this bridging technique, I mean, there are a few things to be scared of. Number one, lag. This bridging technique heavily requires on your Wi-Fi connection. One of the reasons why I'm offline shooting this video. You need very good Wi-Fi to do this kind of, I mean, this bridging technique. So don't forget to always either, when you're training, not use Wi-Fi or just make sure that no one else is using your Wi-Fi or you can just wing it and try and use some Wi-Fi while you're just yeah while you're training but just remember that one of the reasons why you may be dying all the time is because of your Wi-Fi to be honest I mean one of the coolest things for me about this bridging is that you can just literally start it with one block I mean for jump bridging, you at least need four blocks, for me, if that is, to start a successful jump bridge. And also, you need to keep tilting your mouse, which is really annoying for me, because, I mean, just having to tilt the mouse while in P PvP or running away from someone, is just really annoying. So, that's one thing I like about this bridging technique. Oh, and by the way, I actually just discovered this bridging technique while I was doing some offline training I realized where I did this and I was like oh my god I can bridge without having I mean I can bridge like that and it's a super reliable bridging method so I was super happy now if you guys want to see me using this bridge in a game of sky wars to flaunt on people then uh like and subscribe but the cons. The first con is I feel like the bridging technique kind of f makes me scared in a way because number one, blocks are being placed behind you or in front of you, whatever you're gonna call it, like be like while you're in the air. So while I'm in the air right here, blocks are just going to be placed in front of me. Or behind me. I don't really know what to call that. Anyway. 
I'm now I'm now is the part of the video where I see exactly how long I can go. Okay. Um Oh, and um this is my first ever bridging video, so um If you like these these kind of videos and you want to see more like this, then um uh, like and subscribe. But um let's go ahead and see. Okay. No, okay. Whew, this is so hard. Yep. I couldn't really go too far. It was under 50 blocks, so it's good for short bridging. Like, if someone's about to come, you just plop one of these bridges down. Well, this is if you only have one. What was it? Oh, yes. I mean, this is for if you only have, like, one block of room to just jet out of there. Oh, yeah, and reliability on this one, too. I feel like it has a very low reliability. Because, I mean... First of all, if my mouse slips up just a little bit here, it will stop. It's not like jump bridging, where it has blocks constantly being placed in front of you. Blocks are constantly being placed behind you while you're still in the air. So if I were to accidentally just screw up right there and let go of my mouse, then, first of all, this will happen. And then, my jumping will go over that, and, uh, yeah. Now, if you found this video interesting at all whatsoever, don't forget to like and subscribe, because it helps out the channel, and, uh, it lets other people see amazing content like this. Anyway, bye.